Let's check out how to make this bevel text effect here in Illustrator and Photoshop. We're going to start in Illustrator. Let's select the Type tool, scale it up. I'm going to go with the blue next, bold. This is a free font you can download. I'm going to leave a link in the description. Let's select the color. I'm going to go with orange and we're going to go to the effects, warp, and let's select the bulge. Here at the band, you can increase the band or decrease the band. Click OK. And from here, let's go to 3D materials, select extrude, scroll down. And here we got the XYZ rotation. We're going to need to decrease these to zero. So the X is zero, Y is zero, and the Z is zero as well. Increase the perspective to 100%. Let's scroll up, increase the depth something like this. Let's activate the bevel. And here you can choose a bevel setting, which you like more, but I'm going to go with the classic and I'm going to increase the width all the way to 100%. So everything is going to be 100% sharp. Now, as you can see, we got some strong shadows in here and we're going to need to make those disappear. Let's go to the lighting and I'm going to increase the lighting somewhere at this point where these shadows are going to fade a little bit more. At least I'm going to try to fade them. Anyways, I'm going to go with this. Let's activate the ray tracing. If you want to increase the resolution of the ray tracing like this, I'm going to leave the link in the description so you can check that video as well. And we're going to export this file, export, export S, rename it and save it as a JPEG, use artboards, click on range one, click on export. I'm going to go with 300 PPI, click OK. Now let's go to Photoshop. This is my artboard size. Let's drag and drop the JPEG, press and hold Alt, scale it up. And now we're going to go to the adjustments, scroll down, select the gradient map, click on the gradient, and I'm going to bring the white into the center. Now let's select the black, press and hold Alt and drag it all the way into the opposite direction. Click to release. This way you created a copy and you're going to need to achieve this kind of gradient map pattern. And I'm going to go to a reverse here. But as you can see, we got a lot of anti-aliasing going on and a lot of non-dittered areas, which looks kind of bad. So I'm going to select the layer with the text. Let's go to filter. Let's go to blur, select Gaussian blur. And now the anti-aliasing disappeared. I'm going to go with 3.6, but you can also experiment. I'm going to click OK. Now we're left with the non-dittering areas. And for that, we're going to go to the filter noise, add noise. Make sure that you're a monochrome and let's increase or decrease the noise level. I'm thinking to go with 0.5, click OK. And this is how I made this 3D chrome text effect here in Photoshop and Illustrator. Thanks for watching.